1994 genocide that befell Rwanda, many people were killed and those who survived are now helpless. One of the serious effects of the 1994 genocide is the children who were left with no one to care about them and are now heading families prematurely. It's against this background that we Sengani Mans, a local non-government organization, was established in 2002 and is now working in 10 districts out of 30 in Rwanda and it has a vision of implementing child-focused programs that will address the special needs of orphans affected by genocide and HIV AIDS. Among the major objectives of Oisengani Man's organization is to contribute to the well-being of orphan child-headed households, especially those affected by genocide and HIV AIDS, empowering them to respond to their psychosocial and economic development needs through facilitating their social economic development, reinforcing them in building capacities and local initiatives, increasing their access to medical care and education. Uisengani Manzi also facilitates these children to be involved in the process of solving their problems, at the same time enabling them to participate in the country's recovery and development programs. Among the main problems facing these children include lack of accommodation, as many of them have nowhere to sleep, lack of medical care, many of these children can't afford to go to school, others have trauma cases, and the organization helps them in the legal aspect, especially in fighting injustice among these children. Among the activities we Sengani is doing is to bring together these children from different areas of the country and listen to their problems and their needs. Every year, the organization organizes the solidarity camp for these children three times, and it attracts more than 200 children who are supported by the organization. Some of the children testify that the organization has helped them, especially in the self-help projects. This young lady says, We Sengani Man's organization has provided us with good cassava plantation of which many people cannot afford. They have even provided us with radio sets and we no longer feel isolated. Nizeimana is also supported by Ui Sengani Man's organization. He says, We Sengani Mans managed to get us out of total darkness, which had closed our eyes. While this one says, We Sengani Mans is an organization which cares for us because besides being an organization, it is our family. As its slogan states, child care and affection. This boy says, all of you should praise God because we have someone who can listen to us. I used to say that no younger genocide survivor who is living a miserable life like I do. I could lock my house when leaving to school and open when I am back. But when I reached here in the solidarity camp, I met a child of 10 years old who stays alone in the house. I really felt sympathy to him. I said, I still have hope to survive. Actually, here I met children whom we share similar problems and we have to pull up our socks and work hard. This girl says she has a lot of problems. She says no one helps her apart from Ui Sengani Man's organization. My toilet is not good. I have no kitchen. If it rains, I don't cook my food. Among the many challenges facing these children, Uisengani Mans has managed to construct 24 houses in Kichukilo district for the child-headed households. But this is a drop in an ocean. There are many children who have nowhere to sleep. 
The rest of the children who have no houses are still waiting for the support, regardless where it comes from. Wisenganimans has managed to bring together these children and put up income generating activities like growing pineapples, cassava, livestock rearing, and art crafts. Wisenganimans provide them with financial support. With the limited resources at their disposal, Wisenganimans organization has managed to accomplish some tasks. The organization has put up a children's center at Kachil, they have rehabilitated some houses. The organization has sponsored students, personal development workshops have been done, trauma counseling program has been developed, and the conflict prevention and the resolution mechanisms are undertaken, among others. With all what we Sengani Man's organization has achieved, there is a lot that needs to be accomplished with the help of individuals organization, associations, and many others who may wish to support these children to get their own houses. These children are knocking to everyone's door for help, and only to help will determine the future of these children.